Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to explain a very simple way to understand easily what is native VLAN. Native VLAN is the default VLAN like VLAN 1. In the frame does not have any VLAN tagging information, then the traffic will forward to the native VLAN. By default, VLAN 1 is the native VLAN. But if you want, we can manipulate to native VLAN to some other VLAN. So what is tagged and untagged VLAN? If we are uh, adding any information into the inf uh, data frame, then that is the tagged VLAN. If it does not add any VLAN information, it is untagged VLAN. So I will show you in the clear way in the demonstration what is native VLAN and how what is tagged and untagged VLAN. So this is topology which we are going to explain. So we have two switches connected here. In between we have one hub and PC is connected. And we have created two different VLAN, VLAN 10 and 20. Uh, this is the default VLAN. De default VLAN is like a native VLAN. So this VLAN and this VLAN communication will be happen. And this VLAN and VLAN 10, VLAN 10 will be communication happen. But if you do the VLAN, 10 and 20 it will not be happen because two different vlan will not be communicated right so now i'm just doing the test from vlan 1 to vlan 1 so it is um, success in the sense like when the traffic is uh, generating from pc it will reach to hub then hub will generate the traffic and it will send to the switch right so when switch comes that will come as untagged vlan because when the hub has a non-intelligent device, hub will not able to create any VLAN. So once it reaches to the switch, it will be like untagged VLAN. By default, untagged VLAN is the VLAN one, right? So it will forward to this switch, and this switch, this interface is the default VLAN. Hence, this traffic will hit to this PC. Hence, this communication will be happen. But if you take this in area for the other VLAN, like VLAN ten or twenty, if this packet if this PC is generate a packet, it will reach to this switch. Once the switch is reached, switch will create the VLAN ID like this, VLAN tag VLAN 200. So in this case, once this reach to the switch, switch will create the VLAN tagging like 20. So once this frames will reach to this switch, right? So this frame contains this packet, this frame having VLAN 200, Hence, I need to forward this traffic to VLAN 200. So, example, I will give one more example. When the traffic is created from this PC, once hit to this P, uh, switch, instead of 200, instead of 20, if the VLAN ID is 10, what it does when this switch hits to this switch, uh, hit to this frame, right? So it will this not will not match with the right VLAN ID because this traffic is created from VLAN 20, but the VLAN ID is 10. Obviously, this packet will be dropped. So in this way, if we are trying to connect to different VLAN, the packet is discarding. So I hope this is very easy topology to elaborate what is native VLAN and what is tagged and untagged VLAN. Native VLAN is the default VLAN. So, so by default, native VLAN is the by default VLAN. So all interfaces by default, it will be with uh, native VLAN. This two interface, I just bind it to the VLAN 10 and 20. So this is native VLAN. Tagged VLAN and untagged VLAN is nothing about when the traffic is creating the VLAN ID that is tagged VLAN. When the traffic is in the sense like when the frame does not have the tagged information that is like untagged um, in uh, VLAN. Then, um, then you ha would have seen the setup in the office like one LAN cable will connect to this any IP phone like Avaya or Cisco IP phone. Then the Cisco IP phone will uh, uh, connect to the PC or desktop. 
in the sense like one LAN cable will connect to the IP phone from the IP phone there is one more LAN cable that cable will connect to the laptop right so in the sense like we have one cable but in this one cable there will be two VLAN one is like voice VLAN another one is data VLAN data VLAN will use for laptop voice VLAN will use for Cisco IP phone or away IP phone so in this one cable we are able to manage two different VLAN so how we are able to manage two different VLAN is like tagging and untagging yeah. concept so in this way only one VLAN sorry one interface we can able to manage two different VLAN I hope this is very uh, helpful to understand what is tagged and untagged if you like this video please subscribe to the following along with us also please like and leave a comment if you have any question regarding this topic